right, now we're inside. Let's take a look at the voltage here. Okay. And this is going to power this. 12,000 cooling BTU frigid air. See there? Okay. Are you ready? I got it set on cool, 73. We'll see if this Honda can power this valve. Right now with just a fan on, it's 143. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to work. So that Honda will not power a 1 ton 12,000 fluid BTU air conditioner. Shucks. <laughs> it could be the cord too. I don't know. But it just, the Honda goes right into overload. So looks like this myth is busted. Oh well. Should give it a good shot. It works on 8,000 though. Alright, later guys. Okay, now I've got this on my solar circuit, and we're going to see how it performs. This one. 39 watts. Compressor has not kicked on yet. Amps. Looks like as the compressor builds up pressure, it's uh, drawing more power. Doesn't look like it's going to work. Put up a good fight though. Uh, a great generator, uh, but it's just not strong enough to run a 12,000 cooling BTU air conditioner. Now, when I did the test on the 8,000 cooling BTU air conditioner, 
worked just fine, but there's just too much amp draw on the bigger air conditioner, which is understandable. Could be the utility cord I was using. I don't know how much difference that makes, but it's possible, but I don't think so. But uh, great generator. This is not bad mouthing Honda at all. This is a stellar unit. Uh, but for the bigger loads, you need a bigger uh, portable generator, inverter generator. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. And